I've just flown back from filming in Africa and I, I get here and it seems like half my friends are coughing and sneezing. They've all got colds. It's cold season. The, the temps have changed. The rain has come. Actually, it looks like the, the rain stopped for a minute. And colds are upon us. And then I get this message from one of the sanctuaries that I often film at in Africa and they have a huge outbreak of respiratory infection amongst their chimpanzees. And that got me thinking about apes, colds, us, and how they're all connected. And especially for chimpanzees, how they can be deadly. Hi, I'm Jerry Ellis, and welcome to this segment of Apes Like Us. In the wild, chimpanzees face a number of dire threats, ranging from poachers to predators to deforestation. But one of the last threats you might consider is the common cold. All apes like us can contract respiratory viral infections. The most common cause is from rhinovirus. A virulent virus, rhinovirus can survive up to 48 hours outside the host on surfaces and objects touched, sneezed, and coughed upon. The symptoms are pretty well known to most of us. Fever, sore throat, runny nose, nasal congestion, sneezing and coughing, muscle aches, and a loss of appetite. There is no cure for the common cold, no vaccine. A range of products can help alleviate the symptoms, but rest, good nutrition, and staying hydrated over a short period of time is usually enough to kick the common cold. But for chimps, well, it's not that simple. For chimps in the wild and large sanctuary enclosures, it may be difficult or nearly impossible to ensure stress-free rest, adequate liquids, and good nutrition. And that could spell dire results. In the case of cold virus like rhinovirus C, it can be passed between humans and chimps. The sharing of disease is called zoonosis. In 2013, for example, a group of scientists investigating a disease outbreak in Uganda's Kibali National Park discovered that the human coal virus was responsible for the death of five wild chimps in a community of 56. The culprit, rhinovirus C. That strain of rhinovirus was only discovered three years earlier. As people continue to encroach on chimp habitats via deforestation, industrial agriculture, and rural expansion, they pose an even greater threat to the survival of chimps in the wild. Ironically, Conservation efforts to save wild chimps via research and ecotourism increase human proximity and without ardent safety protocols can potentially further spread disease. For sanctuary chimps, like I mentioned in the intro, around-the-clock veterinarian and staff care help prevent multiple deaths, something simply not possible in the wild. So yes, chimps can die from the common cold and all kinds of respiratory infections that affect us as much as them. And then once again, just proving how they are apes like us. If you're interested, I'll leave some links to uh, some really interesting articles down below and you can check those out all about the common cold, how they affect us, how they affect other apes. Anyway, I'm Jerry Ellis and I'm gonna get out of the rain because it started coming down again and I don't need a cold because I'm about to head off for Borneo to film orangutans. For everyone at Apes Like Us, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe by clicking on the logo right up there, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.